Morning all, uh, we're back after what well, we didn't do last week, did we? No. So after a few days off, thank you to everybody that came along Collective Show. Um, amazing how many people came up to me and says, "Oh, I love the video." Um, carry on with the gold wing and making great comments. So thank you. Stop. I'll put my phone. Put on your silent. phone on silent. I'll put my phone on silent. Sorry. Not very professional, am I? <laughs> Are we ever professional? No comment. <laughs> right. Um, so thank you very much to everybody that came to the show, Low Collective show last weekend. Um, absolutely brilliant show. Fantastic weather. Yeah. Thank you for supporting us. Right. Let's get back onto this. On the uh, the going. Today, what we're going to do? We're going to. Oh, hang on. You stay there. I moved that and then didn't trip up over it. <laughs> we're going to do the door. Do the door on this side. We did that side the other week. We're going to mount this one up. That's not too bad. Obviously, that's not. There's a little bit of an air gap there, so uh, we need to sort that out. So we're going to put some relief cuts in it. We're going to get that, done, get that mounted up. The manufacturer we sent. We had some. Uh, we had some card. Some card templates. Cardboard in design. That's it that we made for the hinges to be supportive for the door. Sent them off to an engineering company. They let us down, to be totally honest. We've been waiting for them for, for absolutely ages. So we thought, sod them, we'll do it ourselves. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna get those, we're gonna get the doors glued up, fiberglass on. We're gonna, while we do it, we probably fiberglass day. We, while we're doing that, shall we do the vents as well? Yeah. Do the side pots? Again, stay there. Here's one I made earlier. Oh, I did make this earlier. The side pods for the uh, for the side with the vents in. I was going to do that. That's a Scott. I mentioned him before uh, from Vermouth. Brilliant guy. Thank you very much. Scott had these because he's doing a building as well, and he said, "Have you done them?" And I went, "No." It's just you can have my moulds if you want. So we'll do the doors and we'll do these at the same time. So and we've got some um, we bought some new stuff, haven't we? Some gel coat and the new fiberglass. So we'll do that. We'll do the door and then we're going to make our own brackets. I'll get in the car for the door hinges. So hinges for the doors, mm -hmm. put that on the rod obviously to keep them straight, that goes like so, on there, so what, if I turn it that way around it will probably make more sense, they actually go onto the door and they mount approximately there, what we're going to do is we're going to make some tabs that are going to come off here and that will support that. We've got movement, as you can see with the elongated holes, we've got movement that way. And um, we've just been discussing it, me and Alex. So on these tabs here, we'll put make some brackets up and we'll do them with nylon uh, nylon washers either side. So we've got movement either side and we can put smaller washers, bigger washers in to, to move it backwards and forwards. Um, that's what we're going to do today. That are the events as well. What else did we say we were going to do if we get a chance? Uh, discussing our suspension. Oh, yeah. We're going to discuss our suspension. So can I get out because my back's killing me? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. And my knee and everything else. Okay, we've been tempting you all the time. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. Again, not just campers on Instagram, nice and simple. We've been tempting you, we've been showing you photographs of it like this, the body like this. We've got the body as low as you can get it. And this is the suspension without any springs in. So we took the springs out, we took the shock absorbers out. The reason we've done that is because we're putting it on air suspension, so airbags. Um, again, can I just come past you and grab it? We should have prepared this earlier, shouldn't we? We're as prepared as normal. What's the word? Win it. So that, if you don't know what an airbag is, we're going to do an explanation, I'll show you how it all works, but that is an airbag. So that replaces your spring. 
uh, just can, like a giant balloon, isn't it really? Air goes into it from a compressor and management system and you can set the height however you want it to do and the management system holds it at that. We're going to do a proper demonstration and we're going to show it working. Jim came down the other week, Jim from Novax. Jim's been helping us, really, really nice guy. I've known him for, for years. Um, we took some measurements of the suspension, found out all the travels and everything, and he's ordering me the, the airbags, so fingers crossed. And also as well, for the people that won the competition uh, the other week, I haven't forgotten about you. What I've done, rather than, where's our mugs? We, again, right, forgot our cups and mugs. That reminds us we need a, we need a couple. Um, I was going to send out the not just campers mugs. However, I've had some new mugs made. Jenny, my good friend uh, over in Hull, she's made me some mugs. I'll show you what they look like. So I'm going to be sending out them out to the people. I'll send them out next week, so you will get them next week. And I'm also going to send one to my good friend Alfonso over in America. Hey, buddy. Uh, so I'll send him one as well, but let's say I'm going to be doing competitions, we'll, we'll just carry on in some competitions all the way through. Um, so that's it, I'm getting covered in dust already, so should we cut this door up and then we can go from there, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. What are you doing then, buddy? Uh, just putting some tape on here to stop. There's fiberglass from running through and sticking. Yeah. Uh, and then we can fasten those bits on. Yeah. Glass, glass it up and it should just pop off. Because we have got the the bottom piece is done. What we what we we were messing about doing the little cuts and everything like that. Yeah, this side will work the This side will work the other. So that fits in lovely. Oh, sorry, I had my phones. <laughs> I took my phone off side. Oh, Josh, my son Josh is phoning. And, fingers crossed. Hey, buddy. Hi, Dad, you all right? Yeah, right, I just let you know you're on um, refilming, so uh, that's all. I've just answered the phone. Um, how are you? Yeah. How's things? Good. Uh, Whee! Well done. Um, hang on. There you go. That's my son, my eldest. Good old Josh. You, most of you will, have, most of you will have seen him anyway. Not, not on video. Eh? Not, on not video. the one, not the one that goes like that. This no. is the old one. Not the thumb. Yeah, not the thumb. So Josh is my eldest, twenty year old, and he's just been for his driving test this morning, and he's passed. Woo! Be able to drive you around. Yeah, yeah be able to drive me around now for a change, won't you? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Right. Well, what I'll do is I'll just finish this anyway. I'm just doing a bit of glass fibering. Uh, I'll, I'll put I'll put kettle on and then uh, I'll have a chat with you. No, no worries. Um,
What we've done because the stall was stall was a lot worse than the other side, wasn't it, Alex? Yeah. So we put some relief cuts in it so it brings it in closer there, that side. Uh, but the bottom was so far out, it was actually easier just to chop it. So we chopped it just below the window reveal. Put it together, we're just gonna put some tape back it, on it now. It's not too bad to be at all honest, now that we've took probably about, what, 10 mil out. Yeah. Uh, so just gonna clean it up, clean all these areas up, and then we're just gonna lay glass fiber all in here, all in that section, and then once that's all dry, then obviously we can tidy up the back later on. The most crucial part, obviously, is this window aperture. We need to make sure that that's, uh, that's straight. And we don't stress that, because otherwise we'll be in loads of problems. Oh, yeah. Right, so what you're going to do, just clean it up with a um, bit of nail varnish remover. So honestly, I've done my nails earlier. Have you done them earlier? You've done your nails earlier, I think yeah, you need to do them again, one. mate, boy. Oh, that one. Ooh. Well, so far, screws are done and they have moved. Put that, put that tape there. Works wonders, And we should have done this with the other door, you know. A lot better. A lot better. I've taken them off. Take the tape off. Alright, let's have a look how it looks on the other side. A little bit of remedial work to do. Oh, that's not bad actually. Well, I don't know why. That's not bad at yeah, all. People there, I'll put it like that. Yeah. It's underneath as well, so. Once there's a bit of leather on there, you will not notice. So I call it roof up. So as you can see, if I get it in frame. That's where we did our, obviously, our cuts, relief cuts, and that's when we've gone all the way across, cut it all the way across. We should have done that with the other door, I think. That would have been a better idea than a kin dig it. We just ripped it apart and started getting it. That fits absolutely spot on. Look at that. Yeah, good job. Good turn this one. Pardon? It's a good turn this one. Well, we'll have a look at it. Yeah. We'll have a look at it. I think it will be fine now, but that, that's really good. What we've done is we've made, uh, these are the little templates that we just made, and these go, well, I'll show you the door opening anyway. Adjustments still need to be made on it, but we can't do the final adjustments until we get the bodywork on. But we wanted to get these in first before we bolted the bodywork on. So, as you can see, hey presto, opens up using the hinges and you can see there that's the little pieces these here that's that there so it curves around the roof probably let's say going to make them a little bit smaller we just tacked them in at the moment so it's just them we're going to have one this side and then one that side like so and then let's say there'll be a nylon washer between it and we can move the door backwards and forwards but at the moment, it's really only just getting this framework in because once the skin goes on, the body's on, glued up, we can put the skin of the door on and the skin of the door, will we can just move that either way, backwards and forwards anyway, can't we? Yeah, just to get gaps right. Yeah, we've got to have, obviously there's a, a gas ram that goes from here to here and that's to keep the door up. So what we need to do, we need to put in, what we're gonna do, because as you can see, there's a, a little bit of wobble in the door. Obviously, once we put the skin on, can you catch that? Don't want that going down Wakefield Westgate, do we? That does look like a wing. 
Yeah. Like a poorly seagull. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to put some flat bar, weld it to this, and we're going to come down with the flat bar down here, down there, and into there. And then same on this side, we'll take a piece of flat bar down, down there, put a piece across it and a piece across there, and that'll keep it all nice and rigid as well, and we'll fiberglass all that in. But this is one side done anyway. Dolph, it's lovely. Works nice, like I said, some adjustment to do, but we'll do that once. We'll do the other side and then we can get the body on then, can't we? Yeah. Um, we didn't do the vents today because messed up with the... Uh, we had a little bit of a disaster. Yeah, PVA and wax and all that load of rubbish. What we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly get it on the lift, uh, get it on the ramps, and we're going to actually get up in the air, get the front wheel off, and I'll show you the airbag. Uh, we were going to bring down the compressors and everything like that, but... I'm going to show you on my van. I'll show you how it works on my van. Quite, quite plain and simple. And that's what's going to go on here. So we're going to be putting custom bags on the front, uh, airlift management in it, electronic management. It controls everything. And again, I'll show you that on my van. Uh, so we'll do that now. We've just got to put ramps. Unfortunately, Due to technical issues. Due to technical issues. <laughs> because the car's so low, it won't roll. So we couldn't put it on the ramp. So would you like to uh, just hold that? I'll hold that. I'll get a, a torch so people can, sit, people can see. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups. Hi. Uh, airbag. Can we see in here? Just about. Okay. If I put that there. You're not shining right at the camera. Is it? Let's stick up to the top somewhere. There. What about that? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah? Okay. Can you see down there as well? Yep. Can I go like that? Perfect. You go there. You can squeeze in small spaces for a little big bloke, can't you? Cheeky bastard. So that's your suspension, moves up and down, so that's your bottom wishbone. And then that is really, that's where the spring went. So the spring coiled in here, sat over there and went into there. What we're going to do is we are going to replace it with an airbag. Now this airbag, as you can see, it's got a circle on the bottom of it that will locate in there. And then the top of it, that part locates in there. So if I just shove that down. He says, a bit of brute force and ignorance. Oh. So there we go. As easy as that. As easy as that, yeah. So the airbag sat in there, and what happens is you have a compressor, a little compressor in the car, and a tank, an air tank, and a management system. Management system knows what pressure these bags are at, puts air into it, increases the air pressure, it increases the bag, decreases the air pressure, and it lowers it. So that's what we're going to use. So that's what I've got on my van. And if we go out to my van now, I'll show you how it works. So what we've got here is an airlift management system. And as you can see, these are the pressures of the bags. So these are the rear bags, right hand side, left hand side, front, left, front, right. So I can adjust these individually if I want to adjust them. So if I want to put more pressure in the left, I'll press that button. You can hear the air compressor kicking in now. And I can put it down. Now these here, these buttons, are set buttons. So I can set these to whatever height I want. So for instance, this one here, if I press that, as you can see, it will set it to 50 on the front and 75 on the rear. So if I press that, press it twice, you can hear the compressors kicking in, putting more air in. That's the that right up at the very top here that is how much pressure is in the bag at the back uh, in the tank so if I give this to Alex 
There you go, buddy. Right. So if you point at the back bag, I'll just start the engine so so I've got plenty of pressure. So you can hear the, the compressors going at the moment. Obviously what will happen, at the moment it's on 144, so when it gets to 149 PSI, it'll stop. There you go. Right, so what I can do, so I've got it at that height there. I can drop it down if I want by pressing the preset button. <laughs> Now that, at the moment, on the rear, is 30, 35 PSI. So that's what I usually, I like it running low, so that's how I run it. However, when you park up um, to, obviously, at shows and stuff like that, to show it and be a bit of a show off, or it's actually good for stopping people nicking your wheels or nicking your car because they can't get a jack underneath. So what we do, is we press the lowest button on here, the preset button on the airlift controller. And. Jimmy says, come on. So that's the lowest that'll go so that's with the air completely out of the bags so there's no air in the bags whatsoever obviously i can't drive it like that so I'll take that i'll show you the front so obviously i can't drive it like that but it's good for like say when you park up it shows it looks very impressive also as well let's see you can't get a jack underneath so nobody can steal my wheels nobody can drive my car away unless they know about airlift and can hot wire the airlift as well so it's a really good anti-theft device as well really to be honest so that's what we're going to be putting on the uh, on the mercedes so i'll just hire it back up for you you want to hold it again and i'll just quickly show me it going up There you go. So that's my, that's how I drive it. So that's my driving height. And that's what we're going to put on. So we're going to put two compressors in the back. Um, we're going to build them in the boot. We're going to put two compressors in the boot, a five gallon tank in the boot, and also the airlift management with uh, custom bags front and rear. We take a week off. We don't do all. We come back with full intentions of doing loads of work, doing vents, doing door, Showing your air ride. What have we done? <laughs> One fucking door. <laughs> That's all. Uh, no, it's going to plan today. The moulds, the release agent for the mould, the PVA and the wax didn't work. So we're going to have to strip all that lot off. And we've just had a look at it outside and it's set like rock. It's like concrete. Yeah, it's it? like concrete. So, but at least we've got the door done and we've got the hinges done on the door. So at least we can get in. We know what we're doing, we just gotta replicate that on the other side now. So at least we've got that, I'm happy with that. So just got to do the framework around it. Once we do the framework, then we can put the locks in, can put the handles on, we can put the body on. We can put the body on next, can't we? Once we do that side. Yeah, we'll get hinges done on the other side. Yeah, get the hinges done on that side and then we'll do the body work. Yeah. So not as much as, nowhere near as much as we thought we'd do, but sometimes it's, it's better me showing you the cock-ups in it, um, not everything goes according to plan. Sometimes you think to yourself, oh yeah, I'm gonna get loads done. And unfortunately you don't. There's no point in beating yourself up to it, up on it. These things take time. If you thought this was gonna be like all the rest of them car shows on TV, that we'll have this done in three weeks and um, for a budget of tuppence apne. <laughs> how wrong were they? Yeah, how wrong were they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best thing to do is uh, come back in about, oh, go pro watch Project Binky. Yeah. And got... then tell us we're slow. We do so, like Project Binky though. We do like Project selected. Binky. Yeah. Project Binky is really, really cool. We love the lads there. Um, we'll have to have a word with them, see if they'll come and give us a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Might take another eight years. <laughs> right. We're not going to go waffle anymore. Thanks very much to everybody. Um, 
I've been looking at the analytics on it and there's a lot of people that watch it that haven't subscribed, haven't liked it. If you are watching it, you do enjoy the shite we talk and waffle on all the time. And we do. Yeah, and we do. Then please like, please subscribe. It helps, uh, it helps us and we'll give away, we're going to do some giveaways again shortly. But for now, I shall just leave you with a flapping gullwing door. So, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Look at that confused face. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. <laughs>